being a very complex uh, game, you started off with the Italian, but then chose this very aggressive bishop to g5 line. Mm -hmm. Tell us a bit about the backstory of this game, of your preparation. Uh, preparation yesterday, I, I saw many. Uh, I saw he lost to Ferrugia many times with this line. Bishop g5. g5 yes, so I want to pro provoke h6 g5 in the king side and want to play an unclear position, double edge position. Mm -hmm. And here my plan went very success. He played g5 already and g4. Here yes, bishop h4 should be played. If knight a5, I can simply go bishop c2. Were you still in your preparation? No, no, here? no. Or and it should be very dangerous. Yes, I saw this. Take take rook h8. And I if knight is h5. If knight e3, maybe he can play bishop e6. Or mm -hmm. Yes. It's uh, not easier. It seems like he's still holding on. Yes, I, I haven't prepared to check at any time, but maybe no more. Here, king f8 or king h7? Where would he. Both work. Both work, yeah. King f8, and if you don't open this f file, you know. Uh, yeah. Rook g8, rook g6 is coming come, in the position. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. So, so you play decide to go knight h4. Yes, knight f1. My plan is very simple. But here, he plays bishop d7, not knight e7. If knight e7, he goes d4. But he plays bishop d7 first. Mm -hmm. It's a very interesting idea. Here, I come up with this plan, rook to d2. Okay. So tell us a bit about the strategic concepts and maybe the dynamic concepts as well. Is why trying to go d4? What were you trying to yes, do? Yes, here I also consider knight h5 to, to play bishop h4 and the, the next move that he can take and h5. If I go d4 here, I might be in queen of 6 here. Or rook c1 still holding the pawn. If knight d4, rook c7. Yes. But what if knight f5? Take. Take, take. Five. And perhaps just rook e7. Oh. Or rook to e2. Rook you have to e7. defend first. Lots of pressure on f7. Yeah. Maybe even bishop c2, queen d3 is coming. Mm -hmm. Some some nice attack yeah. brewing for you in this Into one. Right better. Yeah. yeah. But you decide to go a different route. Rook c1, very interesting move, by the yeah. way. And you if got... Here I thought I was much better here. Yeah, I think you were. I, I think you uh, definitely yeah. were. I don't know how to continue. Especially after this move, uh, this f4. Move? How did you assess this one? Yeah, this was a very good move. How did you assess the position at this point? I thought I, I was better after g takes, but it turned out to be a mistake. Did you miss this? King yes, f8, queen g7? Yes, idea. It's a mm. defensive idea. Yeah, I, I, if I take, I think he can go queen c5 and go this way, bishop g4. Oh, I just simply take. Take, take, and knight h4. Yeah. And if h4, I take with pawn, right? Yes, yeah. that is correct. This would have been. The much better. Close to decisive advantage, much better. Yes, yes. But still, the position remains, even after this one, quite quite complicated. Did you feel like you were still playing for an advantage after this? No, no. Perhaps not knight f5? Did you consider no, this move? But I don't want to get pinned. I thought I was worse somehow. Mm. Yeah, rook to e8, perhaps. Rook e2. Yeah, this is not easy, especially with these bishops, mm -hmm. right? It looks very Maybe dangerous. He, he didn't have any active play as well. Uh, Ding, how are you feeling about uh, your energy after uh, three rounds? Obviously, the travel from China to here so. is pretty tiring. How I, are you feeling? I created some chances with white pieces, but I couldn't convert it, it exploded. Does that give you some good energy for uh, the remainder of the games? Mm, I will be regretted for the games. <laughs> some regrets, but definitely some positives as well. Thank, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Guys, back to you for a moment.